This is the Elite Force Sport HK416 Carbine AEG Airsoft Rifle. It is a sub $100 gun coming in at $94.99 on Airsoft GI. It has a 4.5 star review. Because of this gun's low cost, it will have a plastic gearbox, which will make it very hard to compete with other airsoft guns out in the field. But for starting out in a backyard or just playing with some friends, I think this gun would be great. Looking at some specs, you will see that the gun is made by Umarex. The muzzle velocity is 270 to 280 FPS, which isn't too bad for playing in a backyard or with friends. Um, the magazine included will be a 250 round high cap, and the package will include the gun, manual, one battery, and one charger. The hop-up is adjustable, and it does have H&K trademarks. The rails are plastic, but should be fine. I do recommend that you pick up a smart charger, and I will leave one that's pretty cheap in the description, but it still should be pretty good. The next gun is a SEMA Sport Tactical AK-47 Airsoft AEG with retractable stock. This gun comes in at $100 and has a 5-star review. Looking at some specs, you will see that this gun does shoot 330 to 360 FPS, making this a perfect gun for indoor and outdoor play. This gun is also compatible with many other mags, including Matrix, GMP, Tokyo Marui, and more, meaning this gun will be easy to find mags for so you can have spares. This gun even has 14mm negative threads, which is great, so you can attach any suppressor or tracer unit. It does have a fully metal version 3 gearbox, which is awesome, and is also fully upgradable. It does have semi and full auto, along with the safety, obviously. The hop-up is also adjustable. In the package, you will get the gun, the magazine, and a vertical grip. Overall, this is a great gun for beginners and even intermediate players. Because of its small price, this will allow you to get into airsoft without having to drop a whole ton of money. Now on to the pistols. The Elite Force Full Metal 1911 Tactical CO2 Airsoft Gas Blowback Pistol Umarex KWC in the Desert and Black, also known as the Elite Force 1911. This gun is over $100, but I recommend that you spend the extra $25. I've personally owned this gun and it was great. There is even 168 five-star reviews and plenty of airsoft videos showing how great this is. Um, this pistol is used by any skill level all the way up to professional. It is a great pistol and it's full metal and I definitely recommend it if you're looking to get an airsoft pistol, especially in 1911. This pistol comes in two different colors, desert and black and stealth gray. It even has an option to get two extra mags, a holster, and ammunition, also known as the carry pack. But the carry pack is going to run you $221. This gun averages at 345 FPS. The package includes the gun, the magazine, and a tool to put in the CO2. The next gun is... Elite Force Fully Licensed Glock 17 Gen 3 CO2 Half Blowback Airsoft Pistol. This comes in at $99 with 4 star reviews. This gun averages from 300 to 330 FPS. The hop up is also adjustable. This gun is half blowback, meaning that the slide will not move all the way back. This will actually increase your gas efficiency. The package will include the gun, one magazine, the CO2 tool, and the manual. Now on to the sniper. The sniper I have chosen is the Snow Wolf M700 VSR-10 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. This gun comes in at $89 with 5 star reviews. There are 4 different colors including black, camo, imitation wood, and OD green. And you can choose between a short or long barrel. The price does differ between long and short barrels and different colors, but they all stay under your $100 price point. This gun averages from 420 to 440 FPS. This gun is great because it's very upgradable with many, many parts to choose from. On to a shotgun. This is the SEMA Sport M3 3 round burst multi shot shell loading airsoft shotgun, also known as the tri shot shotgun. I personally own one of these and I think it is pretty good, especially for the price. This gun comes in at $67 with 98 5 star reviews. There are also plenty of YouTube videos on this gun. This gun comes in tons of different styles and sizes, all staying under your $100 price range. This gun shoots at 300 to 350 FPS. In the package, you will get the gun, magazine, one shell, and I even got a speed loader with mine. There is no adjustable hop up, but it still works pretty good. There are three inner barrels, which allows it to shoot three BBs at once, which is pretty cool. This is my personal tri-shot shotgun from SEMA. 
I've painted mine, I even have a video on it. So if you haven't seen it already, go check them out. One thing I do recommend you buy are these shells right here. I have bought some and they've come in handy. For only $15, you'll still be staying under your $100 price range. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. And thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. It definitely means a lot to me. And uh, to show my appreciation for that, I will be posting a video once a week. Or, I'm sorry, once a day for this week. And then I'll be back to my once a week schedule. Um, I can't sadly do a video every single day because, one, I'd be out of ideas. Um, and, two, I'm in school Monday through Friday. If you guys do have recommendations, definitely give me recommendations. Especially on more videos like this because I want to do more like this. I, I am planning on doing one for a $200 price range and possibly a $300 price range. I also really want to do some gear loadout videos for certain prices, like maybe a Milsim loadout for like $200 because they're really hard to do for $100, but, or like casual play or anything like that. Just recommend it. I can do my best. Also, I do have a couple of other recommended videos that are coming up this week because I haven't got to those yet. Sorry about that, guys, but yeah, one will be on that guy up there. And another one will be, well, you'll see it, as long as you turn on notifications.